Now that we've reached the end of November and December is right around the corner, this is the time of year where I like to spend a little time working on a few key tasks to help me to make the most of the new year. So if this is something that you're interested in, today I'm gonna to be sharing 10 productive things to do before the new year so you can get some ideas of some tasks or activities that you could work on in the month of December to set you up for success in the new year. Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. And if this is your first time with me, I would just like to say welcome. My name is Alexis, but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I'm an online entrepreneur who designs and sells digital productivity tools to help you work smarter, not harder. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave some links down below in the description box where you can check out more of my work online and feel free to download some of my latest free productivity tools over at thecharmshop.com. For me, December is a month where I like to spend some time evaluating and summarizing my year so that I can end it on a strong note. And I also like to spend time setting myself up for success before the new year begins. So these are the 10 productive things that I like to do in December before the new year begins so I can make sure I'm giving myself a productive start to the new year. Now, of course, although it is currently November and December is right around the corner as I'm filming this, these tips could really be used at any time to help you make a fresh start, even if it's May or October when you're watching this. So keep that in mind that although right now as this video is going live, it is the end of 2017, but these tips are applicable any time of year if you are really trying to just hit that reset button and restart your year so you can move forward with success. And of course, although these are things that I like to do, perhaps not all of them are really applicable to you. And also, some of them may just give you some ideas for other things that you can do that apply to your life specifically. So as you're watching this video, I highly suggest maybe taking some notes and thinking about how certain items may or may not apply to you and things that are in your life that I may not talk about in this video that you may want to evaluate or spend some time working on before the new year begins. So let's get started. Number one, set up your planner. If you're a planner lover like me, December is the time to make sure your planner is set up for the new year. Spend some time reviewing your current planner system to decide what worked and what didn't work for you so you can make those necessary changes now and have your fresh planner ready to go January 1st. I'll be sharing my new year planner setup video soon, but if you're working on your system and setup now, consider checking out the 2018 planner inserts that have just been released over at thecharmshop.com. You can get complete planner systems, bundles, or a la carte inserts to help you build your perfect functional planning system. And as all the inserts in my shop are print on demand, you don't have to wait to get started. Just purchase, download your PDFs, and print them out at home as much as you need. You'll find the links to my 2018 Charmed Shop inserts, as well as everything else I discuss in today's video, down below in the description box if you're interested. Number two, set your goals. I am definitely someone who likes to have their New Year's goals broken out before the year begins. And I have my own unique process for identifying my priorities and selecting goals and projects to help me make progress on the things I want to achieve. Here on my channel I have a number of videos on the subject of goal setting and project planning that I'll leave linked down below, but if you're looking for my complete process to get you started, I'd recommend my You Got This Masterclass. This video lecture class and accompanying workbook guide you through my strategic goal setting process with activities and worksheets to help you define your goals, organize your project plans, and create positive habits to help you execute. Number three, start a list of books to read. I believe that continuing your education and learning new things is a habit that will bring you consistent happiness and success in your life. And the best and easiest way to accomplish this is through reading. So in December, I will start creating a fresh list of books I want to read for the new year and keep that list either inside my planner, at my desk, or in my phone so I can add to it throughout the year as I receive recommendations. If you are someone who wants to develop the positive habit of reading regularly, check out my video on the topic linked below that also contains some of my recommendations for books that you may want to check out if success and productivity are topics that interest you. 
Number four, update your profile pictures. Whether you are someone who, like me, underwent a significant change to their appearance in the last year, or perhaps you just changed your hair color, cut, or style, I think updating your profile picture annually is a great habit to get into. Children get annual portraits taken at school. Many workplaces, too, have annual picture days to keep their employee identifications current. And it just makes sense, especially for those on social media, to make sure our profile pics are an accurate representation of us. So, if your profile picture could use updating, snap a new selfie, or have someone you know take a nice picture of you at a holiday gathering in the next few weeks. Number five, unsubscribe from email lists you no longer need. We all get way too much email, but we can absolutely cut back on this issue if we take a moment to unsubscribe from email lists we no longer need. Whether it's a store loyalty email list we signed up for years ago or an RSS feed that is sent direct via email, before you automatically hit delete on that email you don't want to read, take a moment to scroll through it for an unsubscribe button. Now, of course, there are often times that we have email marketing lists that we get onto because we would like to have it for the occasional coupon or sale alerts. In which case, oftentimes you can change your email preferences and instead of getting an email daily that you don't need, change your preferences to a less frequent time frame or to a specific category of emails. These options can vary, but don't think that you're stuck with the daily email from your favorite store just because you want their weekly coupon. Number six, clean out your closet. Clothes are definitely one of those things that people accumulate too much of over the years. We shop for new clothes often, but then neglect removing the old items we no longer wear. So before the year begins, take some time to go through your closet and remove items you know you don't wear and consider donating them if they're in good condition. It may seem like an overwhelming task for some, but it's so freeing to get rid of excess clutter, and the more time you can spend cleaning out or reorganizing your closet, the more time you will end up saving yourself getting dressed in the morning. Number seven, review reoccurring subscriptions. Whether it's magazines, subscription boxes, or online entertainment services, Reoccurring subscriptions can oftentimes be little expenses that add up over time. So if we aren't reviewing them often to see what we still use and need to be paying for, we could be wasting money each month. So look through your bank statements and PayPal accounts to see what you pay for on a reoccurring basis and see if it's still something you need, use, and enjoy. And if it's not, make the call and unsubscribe so you can put your hard-earned money towards something else. Number eight, reach out to people you'd like to reconnect with. People rotate into and out of our lives on a regular basis. Sometimes this is a good thing, and sometimes the daily grind of life makes it hard for us to keep up with those we care about. With all the holiday celebrations, December is the perfect time of year and the perfect excuse to reconnect with people you are missing in your life. These could be friends, family members, or networking contacts, but if you're thinking about them, give them a call, send them a holiday card, or give them a poke on Facebook. Anything to make the effort to get back in touch with someone important. Number nine, make a gratitude list for the current year. I make gratitude lists regularly, but at the end of the year, I think it's nice to make a list looking back at all the great events, people, and opportunities we are thankful for. On one hand, it will help you see the progress you made over the year and all the success you had, which is easy to forget about. And on the other hand, it will motivate you to make more of these great things in the new year. Number 10, make a not to do or letting go of list. Each year has its ups and downs. And while it's important to be grateful for all the good, it's also important to let go of the negative so that you don't carry it with you into the new year. So I like to make a list of things I want to make sure I am not going to focus on or worry about in the new year. This is a great activity to clear your mental baggage, whether you're writing items out in a list or perhaps writing a letter to yourself detailing things from the year that you weren't happy about and then burying or burning that letter to rid yourself of it ceremoniously. 
So those were 10 productive things to do before the new year. I hope this list gave you some inspiration and ideas for things that you could be doing in the month of December or really at any time to help you to start your new year or restart your year for success. If you were able to brainstorm some other ideas that are applicable to your life, I would absolutely love it if you could share those down below in the comment section so that we can give some more ideas to the community that might apply to some different people. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and to follow me on social media at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye